Hey everyone, it's Jessica and welcome back to a new video and welcome to my back patio. So I recently got some much needed new patio furniture so I thought I would share that in today's video and also show you how I redecorated the back patio for summer 2022. So I really like the current rockers that I got last spring and I will use them for extra seating but I probably will only have room to keep one of them out on the patio once I redecorate everything. And I also have this beautiful lavender plant here in the corner. I got this at Lowe's and I really need to plant this. I've kind of been putting it off. So you can't really tell from this clip right here, but the lawn chair is actually ripped. It has a lot of sun damage and it's really old, so I will be getting rid of that, but I will be keeping the pad that's on top of it. I also have my fire pit sitting out in this corner right here. I really need to go put it in my garage so it doesn't get rusty and damaged. So the patio set that I got is the Tankula 8 piece patio furniture set in black. I did get it from Amazon and I will link it down below in case you're interested. So this particular set does ship in four separate boxes. The first three came to me very fast and then about a week later the final box arrived. So here is what all of the pieces look like scattered out on my patio here. It did take a few hours to assemble everything, but the instructions were very easy to follow and it was a fairly simple process to assemble all of the pieces. I also really love that the seat cushions and the back cushions have zippered covers. That way I can easily take them off if they get dirty and I can just throw them in the wash. I really like that this set is modular and there are a ton of different ways you can lay out this patio set. It took me a little bit to finally figure out how I wanted to lay it out, but this is what I ended up with. So the coffee table that you see here does have a tempered glass top and it also comes with two ottomans that also double as storage. I really like that you can tuck in both of the ottomans underneath the coffee table when not in use. And here is the other one that I have currently out. It does have a cushion on top. And inside of it, I have some curtain clips and some bungees. They're all for my outdoor curtains. So you can order this set with different color cushions. I think they have red, blue, and gray. And they also have the black, as you can see here. So now I'm gonna share with you the entire patio and show you how I styled everything. And if you have any questions about anything in the video, let me know. I will try to link as many of the items that you see here in the description box. I did get this hot air balloon wind spinner a few months ago and I got it at the flea market so unfortunately I can't link that one. And I got two of these black hanging baskets that happened to match my patio furniture at Aldi and I think they were $12.99 a piece. And inside of both of them I have some flowers and they are called Trailing Vinca and I got those at Lowe's. I also have some star jasmine that's growing around both of the columns on either side of my patio and the butterflies just love this stuff. So I ended up keeping the table that I showed you earlier in the video that had the lavender plant on top of it. I pretty much kept it in the same spot. It's perfect for drinks, especially right beside the couch here. So this corner piece right here doubles as storage, but it's also a great tabletop. On top here, I just have a tray with some drinks and also a vase full of fresh cut daylilies from my garden. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, I did keep one of my rocking chairs out here. That way I can use it when I need to. And I currently have the other one stored in my garage. And if I need to bring it out for extra seating, I can always do that. On the coffee table, I have a tray that I wasn't really using anymore. And I used it to corral some of my coasters and also a candle. And on the couch here, I added some tan outdoor throw pillows. I already had these, so I thought they would look really nice on the couch and add a little bit of contrast. And draped across the corner of the couch here, I have an outdoor blanket that I like to use in the colder months. And when I'm not using that blanket, I can just throw it in the storage bin here. It's also that corner piece that I showed you earlier. Inside, I have an extra chair, extra throw pillows. I think I have a couple of towels in here. And I also have the weatherproof cover that covers all of the furniture. I will show you that here in a minute. Another really neat feature of this particular patio set is how all of the pieces fit together like a puzzle. It makes it really easy to store away in the winter if you don't wanna keep it out all year round. And here is how everything fits together. It also came with this weatherproof tarp that covers the entire patio set and I'm going to show you how that looks here in the next clip. So 
So I also thought I would include some footage of how the patio looks in the evening. I have the outdoor curtains closed for extra privacy and I have the string lights on. I love how it looks and feels out here. It's so cozy. I'm really enjoying the new patio furniture and like I mentioned I will have it linked in the description box in case you are in the market for some new patio furniture. I also wanted to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments if you've done any decorating on your back porch porch or patio. I would love to know what you guys have done. Thanks again and I will see you next week with a new video.